Morning, brethren. I'm going to be reading out of Romans 8, 24 and 25. Uh, I'll be talking about uh, keeping our focus on Christ through faith and hope. Romans 24, verse, Romans 8, verse 24 and 25. For we have saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for? But if we hope for that we see not, but if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. Amen. There are two types of hope here. There is a worldly hope, which is a hope that is seen. It is a dead hope. This hope produces doubt and uncertainty. You cannot put your trust in this hope because it is of the world. And what is of the world is only temporary and will pass away. But there is another hope. It is a living hope. This is the hope that is not seen by this world because it, only, it is only for those who are not of the world. Amen. This is an eternal hope Amen. given to us by God through the resurrection of Christ. Mm -hmm. We can see this hope because we walk by faith, not by sight, as said in 2 Corinthians 5, 7. 1 Timothy 1, 1 says, Our Lord Jesus Christ is our hope. Mm -hmm. Not only that, Hebrews 12, 2 says, he is the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. This text also tells us to look unto Jesus. We are to keep our focus on Christ. There are too many distractions in this world that will try to take our focus off Christ. It is because the moment that we lose sight of Jesus... Satan has the opportunity to attack. Right. Right. This is why we must stay focused on Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. How can we do this? We can do this because he has given us hope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He has given us faith, and he has given us the promise of his glorious return to bring us home so that we may dwell with him forever. Amen. Hebrews 11, 1 says, Now that... Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. It is because of our faith in Christ that we can overcome the wickedness of this world. Without hope, we cannot have faith. And without faith, we have no hope. Hebrews 11.6 says, Without faith, it is impossible to please God. But not to worry. We have the hope, we walk by faith, and we keep our focus on Christ all the day long. Also in Hebrews chapter 11, uh, there's many accounts of faith. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that which are seen were not made of things which do appear. It also states in verse 4 that by faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. Mm -hmm. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death. Mm -hmm. By faith, Noah being warned of God, of things not seen yet. Mm -hmm. Now all these, and there are more in here, all these have died in faith, mm -hmm. yep. having not received the promises, but having seen them afar off. In other words, they died having the faith, even though Christ had not yet set foot on this world. Mm -hmm. Amen. Christ gave himself so that we could be saved. And he brought his own life back up again so that one day he will return, a day that I hope is very soon, that we all, we all will be caught up with him to spend everlasting life with him and Father in heaven. Amen. Let us pray.